Larry Dixon is a former world drag racing champion. He's raced all around the world, and he's beaten the greats of his sport. But Larry Dixon's biggest win did not come on a racetrack. Hi, everybody. I'm Speedy Lee, and welcome to Speedy Lee Sports. Larry Dixon Jr. was born to be a top fuel drag racer. His daddy was a national event winner in the National Hot Rod Association. The toughest, most snarling beast in all of motorsports is drag racing's top fuel class, and that's what Larry Dixon races. Top fuel cars can get up to 330 miles an hour from a dead stop, and they do it in less than four seconds. It takes great talent and great determination to control one of those things. And Larry Dixon is a three-time world champion. He's had a Hall of Fame career. But the toughest win of his career did not come at the racetrack. It was a long way from the starting line, and it came in 2014. He didn't have a 10,000-horsepower snarling beast that he had to tame. What he had was a sore throat, which he ignored for a while. And then after a couple of months, he got himself checked out. And what Larry Dixon had was throat cancer. Turned out to be stage three throat cancer. Instead of surgery, Larry Dixon had 33 radiation treatments, and a while after the treatments were done, his cancer was gone. Larry Dixon had beaten Big C. And then in 2015, at the Gator Nationals in Gainesville, Florida, I watched Larry Dixon's race car break in half while he was driving it at about 280 miles an hour. And the half with Dixon still strapped into it flew into the air for a while. And then it finally bounced to a stop. And we all held our breath and then watched as Larry Dixon climbed out of the wreckage. Well, Larry Dixon's a winner. A bad flight and a bumpy landing couldn't phase him. After all, Larry Dixon beat Big C. So now you know. Thanks for listening, everybody. I'm Speedy Lee, and I'll see you next time.